Hey, what's going on everyone? Dan here from Nine Malls and today I'm going to review the Black & Decker Tip & Mix Gizmo Salad Dressing Mixer. It mixes as you pour. So this is, uh, you normally have a shaker salad dressing container, you know, when you make it. This time, it's a battery operated salad dressing shaker. So I'm going to open it up, see what's inside here, and see if it's actually useful. But let me just turn it around, see what's on the back. And, uh... Create your own homemade vinaigrettes in seconds. Four of your favorite vinaigrette recipes are printed right on the jar. No need to memorize or measure. Just prepare and pour over deliciously fresh salads, always perfectly mixed. All right, let's take it out of the box, see what's inside. And it comes with batteries, the mixer, and actually, <laughs> A giant instruction booklet. That's the biggest booklet for a gadget I've seen in a long, long time. So it has different recipes. Uh, easy Caesar, Balsamic, Italian. I'm going to make Italian today. And I'm just going to use a packet just to test this out. And uh, it's got some, you know, it's, feels got some weight to it. Uh, it's plastic. But it doesn't look too cheaply made. So let's test it out, see if it actually works. I'm gonna put the batteries in. All right, here we go, the batteries are in, and I just wanna show you what it looks like when it's on. But it kinda of just spins around, and then you push this power boost, and then it spins really fast. All right, so that will mix the dressing, and then on the bottom you turn it off. Okay, so um, I'm gonna just follow the recipes on the back of this. Uh, says pour vinegar. So you have one fourth cup. Okay. And three tablespoons water. All right. And contents of the packet here. There we go. And you should probably be using different oil, but this is just for the test. Put some vegetable oil in. Vegetable oil. All right, so it's a half cup of oil. And that's it. Simple as that. So this homemade dressing, you know, uh, it does get annoying when you have the shaker bottles, you constantly have to shake it. So I can see this, you know, as gimmicky as it looks, I can see this being useful. You don't have to shake it up every time you want to pour out dressing. So it has this cool measuring cup on top that you can measure out your dressings. You have one teaspoon, uh, yeah, so half tablespoon, one tablespoon, 1.5 tablespoons, pretty cool. Measure it out, put it on your salad. And here we go, mixing it up. See what it looks like. I'm going to zoom in on this. And look at that. It's actually working. Slowing down. I don't know why it's slowing down. Those are brand new batteries. Shouldn't be slowing down. Still mixing though. It's a uniform mixture here, so let's just test it out. Got a nice little, make a little salad here. There's a little salad. And let me mix it up a little bit more. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, okay. gotta turn it off. Here we go. All right, now the taste test. How does it taste? And it actually tastes really good. Every time I make dressing at home, it always tastes better than the store bought, and this is no exception. Even with the vegetable oil, you should probably be using olive oil, but it's really good. I'm surprised. It tastes great. So, uh, do I recommend the Black uh, Decker Gizmo Tippin Mix? The answer is 
I think this is a little too gimmicky. Um, you're gonna have to put batteries in it, and you saw the motor slowing down. Um, if this is something that interests you, I'd say go for it, but I'd say you'd be better off just buying something like this. This is a salad dressing shaker by OXO, and uh, I really like this one. So you just kind of unscrew the container, put your dressing in, and then you shake it up like this, and then you have a little pour spout. I think that's all you really need. Um, I don't think you, you need uh, something that automatically mixes your dressing, but it is kind of a cool feature, and uh, so I'm kind of on the fence. I would go either way, but I think you can live without it. So thanks for watching my videos. If you want to support me, go to patreon.com slash nine malls, or just search Patreon for nine malls. All right, thanks for watching.